Oh, uh, the question is always whether or not to upload or not, right guys? I guess we're gonna do it. It'll give you an update as to whether or not it's a good deal or not. We always get asked that question, right? Whether or not it's the right time. Should you update your Garmin unit? I don't know. Well, on this episode, we're starting it off with an update right now. As you can see, it's going on right now. So I'm gonna tell you whether or not this newest update at Garmin is uh, better, what it does, etc. But either way, the main topic of today's episode is gonna be summer crappie fishing at its finest. We're gonna be brush pile fishing. We're bright and early in the morning. Check it out. We're gonna put some fish in the boat. We got the hammer tin, we got the sniping braid, we got it all. We're gonna put fish in the boat. Brush pile fish in summer. It's early, guys, early. And we got an update going. Let's see, it says 9%. Let's do this. This must be a pretty good update because it's only at 13% right now. I never update before a guide trip because I don't know what's going to happen, what it's going to do, is it going to screw it up, any of those type of things. But overall, my, I used to think that, you know, if you liked your screen, stick with it. And I kind of still feel that way, but as I've kind of progressed now in Garmin, I've kind of gone through it all, the good, the bad, it seems like. For the most part, these updates are good. And so I just go on ahead and I update. I always feel like eventually you're going to have to update anyway. And... Um, might as well just do it but with that said if you absolutely love your screen i don't know if i necessarily would so i know there's kind of two sides of that right there but um right now i'm basically updating if i get a uh, if i get an opportunity so right now we're sitting at uh 18 so must be a pretty good update i don't know So while that updates, right now all it's doing is transferring the information to the Garmin unit. We can actually still fish with that occurring. It's not actually being downloaded yet. So we are just going to be dropping in on some fish. Look at that. There's some craziness going on down there. And you guys can kind of get a vibe as to what the picture looks like right now without the update. There's our first fish of the day. Good fish. That didn't take long. So I'm talking about right there, beginning of a day Starting it off just like that. We're letting them go, of course. We always do. And uh, getting her done with your standard vertical jigging for crappie, summer crappie. Now, on my home lake, um, brush piles is where it's at. Now, you can still catch the loners. Don't get me wrong. They're still out here where you can get some singles, which I think a lot of people enjoy. And right now I'm just playing at the right base of this stump. There's a good fish. Over here. Look at this slab, boys and girls. That's a tournament fish. That's a tournament fish right there. Good Lord. There's another one.
welcome to an, a great episode about summer fishing okay you know these fish are getting back on these piles and i'm telling you as that sun goes up those piles just keep getting more and more full um i love targeting the fish around the base of any type of stump or brush pile but i definitely start on top because if i'm there to catch fish especially for guide trips etc or for just for a day i just want to i just want to fill up the, the the boat full of fish i'm starting on the top of that pile and i'm working my way down but typically what i found is the bigger fish are at the base they're coming out of the dirt for the most part not all the time now i'm a big fan of braid we all know that sniping braid love it check it out check them out you know i'm using braid because i i feel that that is giving me the best tactical feel and the immediate hook set and hammer tan just doesn't get any better 10 footer right today it's kind of fun we're we're, we're playing with the 16 footer right now um 16 footer will be out by october uh we're making the final tweak on the handle and again i always think the handle is like the most important part of a, a rod to be quite honest with you because that's where you're you're feeling it that's where you're touching it that's where you're connected to it and if you don't have the perfect handle um to me that's just a lost opportunity so that's the final tweak right here and then those rods will be on the way they should be here before october probably actually september but i'll let you know about that so uh summer fishing doesn't get any better get out early before the sun hits sun protection is big time although i'm not proving it today um, but i have been very good this year i have been very good let's put some fish in the boat and we're going to see how this update look. all right here's the update just got done it's actually turning on for the very first time what does it look like nothing completely noticeably noticeable right off the bat not necessarily a sharper image as far as I can tell I guess we'll have to come over here to one of these stumps but you know they list all the things that they do to these updates to tell you exactly what they do I just haven't read into it to be quite honest with you I'm sure somebody will enlighten me but regardless I'm sure there's some benefits to the update but uh, off on top of my head I basically what I see right now I don't see much of a difference I'm gonna target these fish right here okay so they're at the bottom of that stump good fish here guys look at this guy now I've switched back up to the hammer you just ain't gonna beat the hammer right there slab right there big fish and I did change to a plastic as well so beautiful fish we're gonna take a picture with that guy maybe later so we're gonna keep him for a little bit but i just changed up my presentation i changed it up from you know i went from a hair i went from the 16 footer hammer to the to the uh, back to the 10 uh, a lot lot quicker hook set uh, which i think is needed when you're dealing with black crappie and also i feel like just changing the bait in general so i've gone back to my traditional three pound fish and paddle tails and you know who knows if that's you know the key or whatever but i can tell you that within about the first drop with that paddle tail boom, boom bite good fish and so can't say enough good things about that all right guys i just wanted to give you guys a view of active captain haven't done it in a long time so uh it's probably what you've been missing right um it's a lot easier to deal with the other one around my neck but this is you know a pile that it's got some fish around the stump and you can see them down there when I kind of move it around. But right here, see if we can't get somebody to want to come after. Here he comes. So I'll play with him. I'll bring him through that bait pile if I can get him to go through it. Yep, he did. I am constantly just trying to get a vibe as to if he touches it at all. And sometimes I do play the screen. I get that question a lot of, during guide trips. You know, pool, I'll say pool, and people don't realize that the fish have are just keeping it in their mouth. They're not necessarily So here comes one probably out of the center. 
but slow and methodical. Nothing there. Oh, baby. Mm-mm-mm. Good night. Does it get better than that, folks? can catch some fish now got the hammer got the snapping braid got the jigs it's all coming together folks summer fishing i'm telling you right now that is a slab i'm gonna let that one go i don't know why could take a good old picture with him all right guys well it's time to go on this episode slabs they go back in the water see they go right back check out the hammer 10 check out all these great stuff and uh, summer crappie fishing doesn't get any better. No joke, man. Uh, especially this time of summer. I mean, the beginning is they're, they're hot, heavy. This is the best, some of the best brush pile fishing you're gonna get. Now, I always say fall is my favorite in about that November time frame. but um, this is really good fishing. Check out the guide service. Uh, those are going great and I appreciate everybody's support, especially with the new rods, all that great stuff. So you're gonna see a lot of new ones come out before the fall and I look forward to sharing that with you. So thanks again, guys, appreciate it.